against the bright yellow gold of Baylor. It's a colorful matchup in paradise. Someone's playing for a championship tomorrow. Yesterday. Inside Vonley. Vonley turning left, shooting and scoring. Ah, Parrish missed that, but McNeil did do a much better job at getting her a crisp pass. Walker no good. Oh my goodness, that went off Fauntleroy's face. It's Indiana basketball with their zone no. and an IU rule. They can get more transition points that way. More McNeil finding Meister, and Indiana starting to find its footing offensively. Chesky dribble handoff to Gare's zone. Chesky all alone for three. What a start for Indiana. Chesky, great shot fake. Shea on the move. Bargasser into the game, kicking back to Chesky. That's her second three, already for Indiana. Baylor right now just does not look comfortable. Vonley, their starting center, is already in foul trouble and on the bench. Indiana keeps going inside. This start is remarkable. And in that rotation, she's brought a punch the last couple of games. All alone, Yaya Felder, who was the best player for Baylor yesterday, knocks down a three. Felder comes in off the bench as such a spark plug. I would not be surprised if she makes her way into the starting lineup this season. A near triple-double yesterday. Good. Yeah, that's exactly it, Lex. Borgeser on the way to the rim. Off the bench, making it happen. Again, both of Baylor's centers, Vonley and Bartley, are already in foul trouble here. Three on the way. Felder got it again. Yaya cannot miss. Priority of the first half, but they were able to weather that and watching Yaya Felder. Go to score because on Indiana's team, everyone's pitching in and knows their role. That's the different type of style they're playing with this year. Or McNeil three, that's good. And Indiana continues to knock down shots from everywhere on that court. McNeil, a shooter always stays moving. Offensive rebound, Little Page Bugs. A rare offensive rebound for Taylor in his first quarter. Nice drive and handoff. That's a finish down low. Kyla Abraham may have to go oh, big minutes in this one. Yeah, Baylor needs more offensive rebounds. That's something that they normally excel at to give them second chance opportunities. And Andrews with a great find. Back to the rim, more McNeil. Nice little fake. Missed the jumper. Rebound back tap out. Chloe came out of the pack. And her second oh, shot is good. McNeil does a really nice job at finding the spaces within the defense. She ducks and dives and uses that ball handling to get where she wants to go. Looking inside, Little Page bugs fall away. That's good. That's a tough shot over the goal. Little Page bugs has to get going. She hasn't shot enough today, especially when Baylor's this far behind. Little Page bugs has to be that player that starts to take it personal. Marcuser no. Maxi behind the play, so Baylor's got numbers here. If they hurry up, they'll take a transition three, and Butlerboy gets it to go. This and meant business. Beat Columbia yesterday. It's been Indiana's quarter, but Baylor looking for a little late juice. Cut to the rim and a finish. Little Page Bugs. Baylor needed her, and Little Page Bugs stepped up. Huge screen. Teske got blew up. Big reason why that Baylor bench was so upset. Dariano Little Page Bugs just picked up her second foul. Great cut to the rim and a swat out of bounds. Yeesh, that was like a volleyball spike. Abraham trying to make up for Garzone and McNeil was just too overloaded because there were three Baylor players over there. They couldn't hit it to the other side in transition. Felder for three. Yaya again. What a remarkable weekend so far. Felder coming off of what coach says was her best game with Baylor last game and coming in trying to make it her next best game. Chesky's got the answer for Indiana. That's her third three. Hand there and contesting. Walker tough shot. 
Moore, McNeil had her pass tipped. Ball still loose. Parrish, a fortunate bounce, and a layup for Sid. Walker closed off by Bargesser on that baseline out of bounds play. Ooh, Lexi almost had a steal. Little Page bugs, defended by Parrish. Most oftentimes, though, the magic number is three that sends you to the bench. Walker attacks the rim and finishes. Big final three and a half of this first half. Indiana's led pretty much from jump. Felder puts her shoulder down. Yeah, yeah, Felder again. Gotta get the ball to Chesky now. Tough catch. Jay on the move. Got to the rim and got the roll. Vonley just snatched down her third board. And Vonley's doing a good job still playing tough defense with those two fouls. Yaya yeah, yeah, Felder again. She has hit shots from all over the place. Already 14 in this game after a near triple double yesterday. Long three on the way. Oh, she got it! Sarah Andrews from a different island. Taylor brings it into the front court. Walker gets it inside to Vonley. Powers her way in. This is a two-point game. Vonley had to deal with some foul trouble in that first half. Multiple post players for Baylor had multiple fouls. Little Page Bugs is on the floor, by the way, with those three personals. Chesky to the rim. Shea Chesky, two more. She has 16. Really good by Vonley to find that on the outside. A lot of times when she's got it on the inside, it stays sucked in, but she found an open one that time. Chesky just missed. They got down deep and missed it. Walker all the way down. Indiana coaching staff says she may be the most important player that they've got. Doesn't always show up in terms of the stats, but her effort is evident on that floor. Decent little trip to watch your sister play. Chesky on the drive, floater, good. Man, what a day for Shea. So to get that killer instinct with your siblings in the game you love, that's where it happens. Gear zone, throw it up and in. Incredible. Watch out, Gear zone. No balance, even a bobble fading away. And Indiana's lead back up to four. Vonley inside, spinning and scoring off flash. She's starting to take over. Two-woman game with Vonley. Felder floats it up, no. Vonley follow, no. Third shot, yes. This game is tied. In the first quarter, Baylor has come all the way back to tie it. Air zone, long three. Follow her miss. Chesky all alone. Shea Chesky three. What a day for Shea. 21 for Chesky, the transfer from Penn State. Shea on the move again. It out to Moore McNeil back inside Stripling up and good. Their zone on Vonley. Moore McNeil to Bargesson. Inside Stripling. Another bucket for Caroline. Bargesson with a perfect feed down low to Stripling. Straight over the heads of the defense. I got Moore McNeil in the air, shot fake and a finish. How about it for Bella? Fauntleroy, my goodness, it shows how important the fundamentals of basketball is. A simple shot fake can do so much for you. Opens the entire lane. Inside the stripper. For the Tennessee Volunteer feeling it. Cheering on her team, being a leader from the bench. Stripling. On lays on her. Swing, swing, Bargesser. Lexi on the drive. He plays some good defense. The got, he got by that already in this game by Felder. Dodged a bullet that time. More McNeil. One more pass to Meister. That was brilliant basketball. At that time. Indiana had the right idea. Trying to work it from the inside out, though. Does Baylor have a counter? They'll dribble back into a corner three. It's not there. Meister rebound. 
Not the best shot for Andrews off her own dribble. She's better if she can spot up. All the way to the rim and the finish. For a dribble or stop first, get it in triple threat before turning the Jets back on to avoid that travel. Meister rolling to the rim. Off a great pass for Garzon. These guys, whoever wins, will get the winner of Carolina Villanova in the game after this one. Vargas, a great bounce pass. Oh. Blocked by Abraham. Chesky with 25 points. Chesky got a step. Shay Chesky, count that thing in a foul. Killer, watch how Chesky fakes like she's going to spin, gets Paige to completely bite. At the end of the day, Indiana plays team basketball. Oh, and Garzone lost the shoe. No shoe on the right foot, still trying to play D. Tight defense on Chesky. Baylor got a steal. That is exactly what they need. Points for the Bears and Jennings. Moore McNeil looking around. Got to get it in. Stripling along the end line. Got it off the head. Chesky ahead of the pack. Blocked from behind by Walker. Last year, she's missed some time with injury this year. But back in the rotation this weekend, and you have seen her impact offensively and defensively for the Hoosiers. Split the pair at the line. Baylor got to go. Down by seven. Walker up the floor, all the way to the rim. Two huge free throws at the line. Walker drive kick. Baylor's got to shoot threes. They got a corner oh, three with Felder. Felder, that was so clutch. And great off the ball screen by Jennings. Indiana comes to paradise and gets a statement win. They knock off the Baylor Bears.